Now we know San Diego's ocean pollution is often linked to rainfall. In this Earth 8 report, News 8's Netta Aranpour went to the South Bay to find out if there are any positive impacts from the state's devastating drought. With such little rain we've had, obviously there would be less rain runoff. So we wanted to come here to the South Bay, right by the Tijuana Slough, to check on the amount of sewage coming to our beaches from Mexico. Perhaps with the drought, it's providing some sort of silver lining when it comes to our oceans. The early morning work by San Diego County's environmental health specialist, Romina Shess. I'm waiting for the tide to come back in. You have to take the sample when the tide is coming in. Helps determine exactly that. She's here in the South Bay daily testing the waters. Waiting for the wave to scoop up a bottle full. I'm putting it in a baggie and then putting it in ice. So the bacteria stops growing. So when I get it to the lab, it's the actual sample, the actual count. And this spot south of Seacoast Drive is one of nine locations she tests. So I did Borderfield, TJ Rivermouth, two in IB, okay. and then I have this, and then I have one north of IB, and then two in, one in Silver Strand and one in Coronado. That's what she needs to find out if the water is safe for swimmers and surfers in the South Bay. My children surf. I swim. I, I like ocean swimming. Um, and I feel like what I do impacts the daily lives of all San Diego County residents, or at least all beachgoers. So I... I'm really keeping you safe. My, I'm really protecting your health and keeping you safe. So I love what I do. While we were with Romina on this day in July, she got the call from the lab. Too much bacteria in the sample from the day prior. So she immediately alerted the lifeguards and anyone she saw. Okay, so don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Okay. To let them know of the beach closure and to stay out of the water. We take the samples today. We take them to the lab. They put them in a culture and then we read the results the next day. It. So it's about a 24 hour process. The rest of San Diego County is monitored on a weekly basis. Now, despite the occasional south swell, bacteria levels have stayed fairly low for the summer. As the river stopped flowing and my sample results came, started coming out clear or clean. But since there's a wastewater treatment plant south of the border, a south wind or a south swell can also send bacteria into the Imperial Beach area. The environment does not recognize borders. Which is why even when there's no rain and no rain runoff coming from the Tijuana River, bacteria levels can still be dangerously high. You're going to laugh, but I'm going to turn. I come in every day and I'm going to go, okay, what is my hair doing? Where is the water coming from? Where is the wind coming from? And then I go like this and depending, because all of that is going to impact my decision making. So even with the drought, we're still dealing with the pollution. It is a complicated problem going on for decades that not even a lack of rain can fix. It's, it's such a multi-layer problem, not just environmentally, but socially, economically and politically that the, I think the only way it's going to get solved is by both countries really sitting down and, and, and figuring it out together. Because as much as she loves her job, Romina would also love not needing to sample this stretch of coastline every day. I don't want you to come to San Diego as a vacationer or be a resident of San Diego and get sick by going into the water. Near the Tijuana River Slough, I'm Netta Iranpour for Earth 8.